Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So from my 8,000 subscribers giveaway video, some of you guys shared some feedback for me and a lot of you are very concerned about my life. And one of the main feedback that I received is that I am probably uploading way too much for my own good. And I hear you, so how I'm gonna do it is probably every single day, if I have like a 20 minute video or something, I'm only gonna upload once. However, if I have something really short, like maybe six or seven or eight minutes, I could probably upload twice because to me, that is still very manageable. However, as for yesterday's um, spam of videos, right? So I uploaded three videos that were total about one hour. So that's just a one-off situation where we had a summoning session and all that. So I just wanted to get all of the summons out of the way and then proceed with the rest of the content. So hope you guys understand and I'm sorry if I'm uploading way too much for you. This should not happen in the future. And also, I also want to mention that I might start streaming really soon. Okay, so I just got my new PC ready and it is very powerful. So with that, I think we can try to do some test streams within the following few weeks. So without further ado, if you find that this video is going to be helpful for you, don't forget to subscribe as subscribing is free and you can always change your mind. Anyway, so for today's video, we're going to take a look at what is worth your energy. Okay, so your stamina is very limited. However, there are some things in the shop that is really worth your stamina and there are some things that is really not worth your stamina. Alright, and before we begin with that, I need to discuss with you what I'm going to uh, base off for my calculations. So I'm actually going to base off the, the maximum difficulty over here, difficulty 6, where we get 60 Oasis Crest every 14 stamina that we use. So as you can see over here, it costs 14 stamina per run. And we are not going to be talking about easier stages like this where we can get uh, 30 Oasis Crest with a cost of 8 stamina. That is not as worth it as the highest difficulty. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the shop and I'm going to give you the mathematics of what is worth it. Okay, so for example, Scylla over here, she costs 5,000 Oasis Crest. So in other words, if you farm the highest difficulty in the event, it's going to cost you almost 1,200 stamina. But is she worth it? Absolutely. Cause she is a one-off choice over here until she goes back into the banner. So before that happens, she is going to be impossible to get. So I do feel like she is pretty worth your time and stamina. Okay, moving on to the Shimmer record. So the Shimmer record costs you 2,000 Oasis Crest, which equivalently costs you about 467 stamina. And is that worth it? Definitely, 467 stamina is very worth it for something that you cannot even obtain normally. So we're just gonna give this a shot, buy this now, and let's see what we get. Okay, three, two, one, Unas, let's go. Or Laura, whichever. Right, never mind. So next one, we have the gold records. There are two of them and each costs 400. So it costs about 93.3 stamina per gold record, which is super good value. This is a really good value. So the gold record is a must buy as well. And now next, we have the Epic Star Mount. So this one is a little bit more complicated because we are going to be comparing between um, fodder farming in like, let's say, Purgatory 12 or maybe even fodder grinding uh, by doing some Ripple Dimensions. And the answer is this is going to be super worth it. So one Epic Star Mount here costs about 46.7 stamina, which is a lot cheaper than Purgatory 12 where one Forza comes around with every 60 stamina. And then moving on to the Relic Bonus 2 Hours, this costs 400 Oasis Crest which equivalently costs about 93.3 stamina. And this is extremely good value because it is a very hard to get item, which has basically no stamina cost attached to it. So this has incredible value. Now moving on to the gold. So this is 200,000 gold for 200 Oasis Crest. Now 200 Oasis Crest costs us 46.7 stamina. And this makes it extremely good value. This is so, so valuable. And in fact, we can just go on with the 100k go over here. Is this still valuable even at half the rewards for the same price? This is still super good value. This is a must buy as well. All right, and then moving on to the stamina packs. Okay, so each of them costs 120 Oasis Crest for 60 stamina. So the thing is 120 Oasis Crest is actually only going to cost you 28 stamina. So this is really good value, right? This is basically infinite value. If there were unlimited stock over here, this would be um, a permanent buy. So for 28 stamina, you get back 60 stamina. This is incredible value. Now, next one, we have the random Mythic Relic Pack. So Legendary is going to be the fifth, right? And Epic is the fourth. So Mythic is going to be the sixth rarity. Therefore, it is the six star relics. Now, is this worth it, right? Contains a superior or above six star relic at random. This costs you 400 Oasis Crest, which equivalently converts into 93.3 stamina for a chance of a superior or higher six star relic. This is incredibly no value. This is not good value at all. You will find that every 3k10 runs or a10 runs is going to net you two 6-star relics. So that's basically 27 stamina for two 6-star relics. But of course, this says that it's superior and above. But in my opinion, if you spend 93.3 stamina in the Ritual Miracles, not only are you definitely going to get a superior relic back, you're going to get so many more of like other relics as well. So this is very terrible value. 
And the same goes for the legendary pack up here. This is this is, this is dumb value by the way. This is even worse. So it costs you like 23.3 stamina per 5 star relic. And that value is so bad. This value is, is terrible. Because for two reasons. Number one, this is not as worth it as just farming ritual miracles. And number two, you shouldn't be aiming for 5 star relics. You should be aiming for 6 star relics. So none of these relic packs are going to be worth your time. And now moving on to the advanced experiment. So for your info, this is the 4000 EXP experiment, which is something that you can get for free by spending 10 stamina in Purgatory 12, or at least in any other Purgatory practice stages. So the thing is, this thing costs 50 Oasis Crest, which equivalently converts to 11.7 stamina. So this is terrible value. So not only can you get this from the Purgatory practice stage, you can also get extra EXP, and you may even have the chance of getting the higher rarity experiment, or maybe even Starrymon. So this is terrible value. So yep, that's it for the shop. We have talked about every single item that you can purchase over here and what's valuable and what's not valuable. So in short, everything here is valuable except for the random mythic relic pack, the random legendary relic pack, and the advanced experiment. Everything else has very good value. So with that said, that's the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was informative for you. If it was, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now, this has been Daddy Free to Play and as always, I will see you in the next video.